Good day students and welcome back to Computer Practice with Mr. H. Um, in today's tutorial, we are still discussing the internal exam question paper of semester 2, 2024. And we are going to discuss question 9, 8 today, which you will find on page 15. You can download this question paper and the student folders from the description box just below the video. All right, so if we jump into the questions, I'm going to start with question 4. And then we're going to go into the actual formulas. What this question paper is going to expect us to do is the following. So the formulas that we're going to look at is we're going to look at VLOOKUPs, HLOOKUPs, a normal division question, but with absolute references. And we're going to do a basic if calculation as well as a nested if calculation. All right. We are also going to just do a normal sum and we're going to do a date. Let's go back to our questions. Number four, change the font of the entire spreadsheet to Arial size 10. So you press control on your keyboard, you hold it in and you press A to select the whole spreadsheet. And then you change the font, the font to Arial. And the size you change to 10. All right. Next. The first formula wants, to, wants the following. Assign the name initials to the reference table B15 to D22. What they are talking about here is B15 D22, so this whole reference table needs to get a name. All right, to assign a name to a table, what you need to do is you select the table correctly, and just above the A of your spreadsheet, the column, just above it, you have something called a name box. Inside of the name box, you need to delete what's inside, and then you assign a name. You press Enter, you've just given it a name. So if I select this table again, my name will appear, or the name that I gave it will appear. All right, next question. So we've assigned the name. Now use the reference table. In other words, students, they are referring you to this specific reference table. So use this reference table and appropriate function to calculate and display the initials in the column. All right, so if we go back, students, let's quickly discuss what is the difference between this reference table and this reference table. If you look closely, you will notice that this reference table is talking about names, surnames, and initials. These initials eventually should be displayed over here. But it's not as simple as just copy and pasting it we need to use a lookup function to place the correct initial or to link the correct initial with the correct person. Like for example, Ayanda Fue, she's first in the reference table and that is her initial. But in our spreadsheet, Ayanda is second last. So the formula or function that we're going to use should be able to place this initial in the correct order okay in the correct spot where the name actually appears and the function the lookup function will be able to do that now how do i know what function to use we are going to deal with v lookups and h lookups v lookups and h lookups and it all depends on the reference table that we are being referred to if i go quickly back to my question paper. Formula A and B has to do with either an H lookup or a B lookup. One of these two. One is either an H lookup and the other one is either a V lookup. Now, what is the difference? It all depends on the table that is being used. In this case, this one is referring us to this particular table. 
B, vehicle that we're going to assign eventually, is referring us to A24, H25, A24, H25. So it's referring us to this one. All right. When we are being referred to a table, the table will tell us whether or not we should use an H lookup or a V lookup. So it all depends on where the headings are. In this case, the headings of this reference table is on top. So we're reading this one from top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. This one, the headings are on the side and we're reading it from left to right in a horizontal manner. Top to bottom in a vertical manner. All right, so whenever we are being referred to this table, we need to know that we're going to use a V lookup, V for vertical. And when we are referred to this table, it's a H lookup, H for horizontal. I hope that makes sense, students. So let's go back to our first formula. So we've assigned the name initials to the reference table. And now we need to use this reference table. In other words, we are being referred to this reference table. And we need to go and calculate and display the initials. How are we going to do that? So we now know that it's this table. And because it's that table, we're going to use a V lookup. OK, <clears throat> we know this. it's this table. So we, we know it's a V lookup that we need to go and look for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to insert the dialog box or the function argument box for a VLOOKUP. So make sure that you place your cursor in the correct cell where you want the answer to be displayed. You click on formulas, insert function, and you search for VLOOKUP. Once you have found it, you click on it and you click OK. A function argument box will appear and it's going to ask you four things. It's going to ask you what is your lookup value. In other words, what value are you going to use for the lookup? What value are, going to, are you going to use that is going to that links the reference table with your actual spreadsheet or the spreadsheet with the reference table? The table array is the name of the table. The column index is in what column is the actual answer. In this case, there's three columns in my reference table and the third one displays the initials. And the range lookup is, you have to type in zero there. So look up a value, what my initials are linked to the names or my names in my spreadsheet is linked to the initials if that is what i'm looking for each person has a name and a surname and an initial the only difference is that the reference table starts with ayanda my spreadsheet starts with roger but ayanda is also in this spreadsheet it's just at a different spot so i want to use the names as my lookup value. The table array is the actual name of the table. The column is the third column. In other words, in the third column is where I will find the initials. The range lookup is zero. You click OK and you will see that you have now an answer in your first cell. And if you copy the formula down, it will also fill in the initials of the other people. There is Ayanda A, Ayanda A. Roger, October, RL, RL. Even though it's not in the same order. But because you used a VLOOKUP, it was able to place it, to link the correct initial with the correct name. All right, so that's a V lookup. And now we go over to the H lookup. 
exactly the same concept. It's just we are using a horizontal table. So if I go to my question paper B, we need to assign the name vehicle first to the reference table. Select your table, go to the name box and assign a name, press enter to save the name. Just another hint students, what if you made a spelling mistake? Say for example, you forgot the C. Or you just want to delete it. For example, you want to rename it or give it a different name. All that you need to do is under formulas, you click name manager. And over there, you will see all the names that you have assigned, the table names that you have assigned. So I'm in, if there's an incorrect one, for example, all that you need to do is you can just click on it and then you press delete. Okay. Or if you need to fix a spelling mistake, edit, and then you fix the spelling mistake, if there were one. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know about that as well. Formulas, name manager. If you need to edit the name of the reference table. All right, so we've assigned a name to this reference table. And we now need to go and work out which vehicle belongs to which person, to which name, which name is linked to a vehicle. All right, so cursor in the, correct, in the correct cell. You click on formulas and then you click on insert function. We are now going to look for an H lookup. Why an H lookup? Because we are dealing with a horizontal table. H lookup, go find the H lookup, click OK. You get a function argument box. Again, it's asking you for a lookup value, a table array, a row index this time. Remember with a H, sorry, with a V lookup, they were asking for a column index. But this time we're dealing with rows, row one and row two. So lookup value, what is the lookup value? To get to figure out which vehicle I need to link it to a name. So I'm gonna use the name. What table are we using? We're using the vehicle table. What row in my table will provide me with the answer? In this case, it is the second row of this table. The first row has the names and the second row has the vehicle. So row number two, again, your range lookup is zero. Click OK. And then you get your first answer. You copy the formula down and you check. Ayanda, for example, Ayanda drives a VW Polo. In fact, the table also says so. My, my, my answer also specifies it's a VW Polo. Um, Roger, a Hyundai. Roger drives a Hyundai i20. All right, so that's how you do an H lookup and a V lookup. Students, please join me in the next video for part two, where we will continue with calculating the distance traveled, the percentage, and if there's time left to also do a basic if calculation and a nested if calculation.